Our topic today is analgesic nephropathy. Analgesic nephropathy, or AN, refers to the kidney damage that can result from long-term high-dose use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, commonly known as NSAIDs. NSAIDs can be very helpful to reduce pain and inflammation. They do this by blocking the production of prostaglandins. But prostaglandins also act to dilate the afferent arterioles in the kidney. This dilation allows more blood to flow to the kidney and to increase glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Since NSAIDs block prostaglandins, they can cause a reduction of renal blood flow. So in high doses, especially over a long period of time, this isn't healthy for the kidneys. This decrease in blood flow can damage the renal tubular cells and medullary interstitial cells. With time, cells slough off and sediment enters the urine, which now contains excess protein, crystals, and urinary casts. The elderly and those with pre-existing renal disease are particularly prone to developing AN. The elderly tend to have decreased blood volume and therefore decreased renal blood flow. As described, NSAIDs also decrease renal blood flow, compounding the risk for kidney damage in these patient populations. It is estimated that AN causes 3 to 5 percent of end-stage renal disease cases. Diagnosis involves confirming a history of chronic use of analgesics, on a CT scan, decreased kidney size and papillary calcifications are noted, along with at least three indentations, interrupting the normal smooth convex outline of the kidney. Please now determine which of the following statements are true. If you answered the following, you are correct. So analgesic nephropathy is kidney damage from high dose and or long-term use of NSAIDs. Thanks for watching.